This is the lesson on multiplying and dividing by exponents of 10 in Module 1. To start, we're going to talk about the exponent, and that is the amount of times we use a number as a factor. We have an example that I'm going to explain. In order to make 100, and you all see that the 100 is right here, I can do 10 times 10. I multiply 10 two times. That's where that little 2, the exponent, comes from. So if you have 10 to the 5th power, 10, that's to the 5th power, and I only want to write it as a product of 10s. Because there is a 5 right there for 10 to the 5th power, we write 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. We are multiplying it 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like there is a 5 right there. Then it says to write the product. So to get the final answer, we have our 1, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. And we now have made our product of 100,000. So we're going to look right here, and it says to write this expression using an exponent. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to multiply. And I ignore all my zeros, and I just do 1 times 1, which is 1. And now I put all my zeros back in. There was three zeros, 1, 2, 3. And now I have 1,000. But they want me to write this as an exponent, expression with an exponent. So we know we're using tens. We've been talking about that. And there's 1, 2, 3 zeros. So it's 10 to the third power. Once again, we're now going to look at this one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros that we're going to cross off. So we put 1 times 1. And now we put our 4 zeros back in. And now we're going to do this with exponents. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 10 to the 4th power. And this last one down here. This time we're looking at both of them. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 again. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. And once again, there's four zeros, so it's 10 to the fourth power. So now we're going to talk about solving using these exponents. It's just like when we were jumping with zeros. We're now just jumping because the exponent equals the number of zeros. We can do this the same method we had been doing. So we're going to rewrite the first number, the first factor, which is 3 and 4 tenths. We're multiplying. It's telling me to go to the right. And my exponent is a 3, so it's telling me to jump 3 times to the right. 1, 2, 3. I have to fill in my zeros. This is no longer there. The decimal's at the end. So my answer is now 3,400. Let's give the next one a try. We are multiplying again. Since we're multiplying, we know we're going to the right. I'm going to rewrite my number to make this easier to do. We are going to the second power, which means that we're going to jump twice. So we're going to jump once, twice, and that moves us over here. So my answer is 402 and 1 tenth. Next, if we want to go along and continue on, now we're going to divide. We're jumping twice. Division tells me to go left. I'm going to put my number over here. Since my number is over here, it's a whole number. I'm not sure what to do. Well, when I have a whole number, I have to remember there's a decimal all the way to the right. Once again, I have to jump twice, and remember, to the left. So I'm going to jump 1, 2. The decimal's now here. It doesn't exist here. And I have a 7. We're going to do another division problem. And we're going to remind ourselves when we divide, we're going to move to the left. And when we move to the left, we're going to rewrite our problem. So we had 7 and 1 tenth. We need to jump two times because there is a 2 there. So we go 1, 2. We have to fill that zero in. That doesn't exist over here. And we now have our answer. And that is how we multiply and divide with exponents using the, for the powers of 10. So some examples of some of the problem set that you can do. It says to write in exponential form. So we right away, we count how many zeros, four zeros. So it's 10 to the fourth power. Here we see that there are Three zeros, 10 to the third power. We can do this one the same way. We can keep it separate and say 1, 2, 
and it's 10 to the second power. Or we can do 10 times 10, which would be 100. And then we see that it's 10 to the second power. So right here we see 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 10 to the fourth power. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the sixth power. And down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the sixth power again. Down here, it goes back to what we were just doing before. When we have multiplication, anytime we multiply, we're moving to the right. So I'm going to go through all these and mark off where I'm multiplying first and only do those ones so I don't get confused which direction I'm moving. I'm circling to make sure I do all my multiplication ones first. So then I'm going to rewrite my numbers so they're easier to use. So I'm going to start by rewriting my 9, and I'm going to remember there's a decimal out here. I'm going to rewrite my 39 so there's a decimal out here. And the ones that have decimals, I'm going to put the decimals right where they are. So now I have those in, and I can start. It's to the third power. I jump three times to the right and I make my new answer when I fill in my zeros. I jump four times to the right, and I make my new answer when I fill in my zeros. I'm going to skip these two because I didn't mark them up yet. I'm going to continue on. It's to the third power, so I'm going to jump one, two, three, and I'm going to write my new answer. And this time we have four, and fill in my zeros, and I'm going to write my new answer. Now I'm going to go back through and see that these are all division, so I'm going to remind myself to go this way. By doing them in this order, it helps me to not make a mistake looking at the operation. So I'm going to rewrite my numbers, and remember if it's a whole number, there's a decimal to the right. I just can't see if there's a decimal. I just want to make sure. It's a decimal to the right. So I'm going to the left two times. So I'm going to write my answer. I'm going to the left three times. And I'm going to the left three times. And that is multiplying and dividing using exponents of 10.